Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and download this to the PLC now. And uh, we'll go ahead and download this and uh, wait for it to uh, download into our PLC. And then we'll uh, make sure our PLC, of course, is in run mode. And now uh, we're ready to uh, play around a little bit with, uh, with the block. Now you'll notice that we have these additional flags over here with the block. This is enable text one message, enable two, enable three, enable four, enable text formats, um, enable special effects, enable variables, enable variable, uh, enable variable formats. Okay. Now this is important because what we decided to do here was to give you the option to turn on or off whether or not you want to transmit. A particular message so you you could write ladder logic and only have one block and then have uh, four messages and then by uh, selecting which flag you want to send a message you could do it that way or you could have four separate big uh, function blocks and just only send the first message um, so in this case we we're going to enable message one because we don't have anything in message two message three or message four so we'll leave those turned off is what the zeros mean and in this case, we're going to leave um, any text formatting off, any special effects off. We don't have any variables, so those are going to be turned off. And then we're also going to leave our variable formats turned off on, on that. Okay. And then, um, so in this case, what should happen is when we toggle this, it should send a message to the sign and display the world, uh, display our message up there. So um, if we look at our camera, we can see that it says, hello world. And in this case, it's going to be the default uh, size uh, since we didn't declare any uh, text, act text uh, formats in this case. Now let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and, and show you how easy it is to, to fix the formatting of the sign. Let's go back to our sign one parameter base. And in this case, we want to use the hello world um, hello world uh, text, I'm sorry. And uh, we want to make that uh, a bigger font in this case. So we're, we'll select a bigger size font, and then we want it to be green in this case, which we have a one in there. And uh, we want it to be a fill in this case, and no, and not flashing. So all we really did was we just went into our tag and changed those parameters in our tag structure. And then um, what we're going to have to do in this case is um, is now we're going to turn text formatting on. So when we do that, now these three or four attributes here, this font, color, alignment, and attribute will now be associated with our message, um, which are now those parameters. So once I toggle that and the function goes um, enabled and done, you can see that it changes the formatting of the sign. Now if we remove the text formats and turn this to a zero, we didn't have to basically change the font, color, alignment, or attribute here. By simply removing the formats, then it goes back to the original uh, message there, if you will. Okay. So then, just to show you the flexibility of the flags, uh, maybe we have "Hello World," and then we say, uh, maybe we say "Goodbye World." Um, and good, good thing the Mayans uh, weren't right because it was uh, just uh, December twentieth, not too long ago. So we have message uh, one now, and uh, which is "Hello World" and "Goodbye World" and message two. And uh, so now in this case, uh, we're going to go back to um, close our tags down. We'll go back to our block. And now we're just going to turn off message one and turn on message two. Um, we'll leave the default. Uh, we won't have our attributes turn or our function text formats turned on in this case. And we'll turn that on. And uh, now basically you see the second message, which is goodbye world. Now if we want to send them both at the same time, uh, we can turn them both on at the same time and toggle the block again. And now they should say both of them up there at the same time. Hello world and goodbye goodbye world. And if we want to go ahead and enable the um, formatting that we choose, we would just turn that bit on and then send the message again back to the sign. And now, um, now we have a two line hello world and goodbye world on that. Now, if we want um, to enable the text effects on the AOI block itself, um, basically at that point we could uh, we could choose to do that. Um, let's say we want to do a scrolling effect. Um, so let's do an S here, and remember it has to be capital S. 
And um, let's see, the default speed is 3, and the pause is 02, which is probably okay. So uh, we'll just do a scrolling now this time. But this time we need to actually turn these effects on, which is the text effect, the speed, and the pause. So we enable that. And then now we send to the sign again by toggling that block, and it sends to that sign on that. And now what we'll be able to see is we'll see the uh, scrolling effect on the sign of the two messages. So we have hello world and goodbye world scrolling on our sign just like uh, we wanted. So um, there again, um, just a, a basic introduction of how the AOI blocks work um, is really the purpose of uh, this video here. It's a little bit longer uh, than most. Uh, but hopefully uh, you get an idea or get a concept of how it works. And uh, we'll get into more of the details of applications here in some further video series. So again, this is Chris, and uh, thank you for uh, watching um, my video series.